Hi Virgos, this is your March Love and Relationship Reading. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, Virgo, so let's jump into your reading and let's see what the universe has to say for you um, in your love life for the month of March. I'm just looking over your cards here. Devious ways, frustration, and maturity. Okay, so some of you are dealing with someone who's very manipulative because we have devious ways, manipulative behavior, distortion of truth, passive, aggressive. Um, we also have frustration and immaturity. So with frustration, we have great effort to make it work, sacrificing too much, hard to be on the same page and immaturity, still discovering themselves, lacking emotional maturity light and fun connection okay so i'm picking up the energy that some of you guys are dealing with someone who wants to just keep it light and fun it's like they don't want to commit they don't want anything stable right now but that's it's like there's a difference between opinions here because you're frustrated somebody's frustrated here because someone is not committing and this person it's like they may do a lot of running in and out of your life and can't explain why. And it's like when you ask them, this person is very immature about the answer that they give you. And it's because they're not ready to settle down. It's like they want to keep the connection light. They don't want to put a title on it. But I feel like you're looking for a title. And if this is not you feeling this way, Virgo, then this is your partner feeling this way about you. So flip and reverse the roles as need be. Okay, take what resonates and leave the rest. But... um I feel like this month you're going to be trying to make a decision about whether you're going to keep this person around. For some of you, I'm picking up the energy that you have a choice between two people. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Yeah. I think some of you have a choice between two people and you're trying to figure out what you're going to do here because we have sexual desire. We have highs and lows. And then we have dishonesty. See, you feel like this person is being dishonest. Lie to get what they want. Lie about who they are. Don't reveal their true feelings. I feel like this is someone that some of you could be dealing with um, that's on the internet. It's like you may have met this person um, on social media. And you're trying to get to the bottom of what they really want, who they really are, um, you know, what their intentions are. And I feel like this person hides behind a mask or it's like they don't tell you much. And it's like they may avoid questions when you ask them. We have a sexual desire here. Sex is more important. Every meeting turns sexual. Constant sexual fantasies. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, this person wants to keep the connection light. And it's like they're only interested in sex, but they're not telling you. And that's not for everyone. That's for someone, though, out here. Because there's a lot of highs and lows. Because there's a lack of consistency. Full of drama. More lows than highs. It's like this person may ghost you or not talk to you for some quite some time and then they come in and the first thing that they want to do is like they want to have sex or they want to talk about sex even if this is a internet connection i feel like some of you um you like this person may sex you sex text you or however you say that they may do a lot of sexting which is sex texting towards you, right? But it's like when you start trying to get serious and try to like talk about where this is headed, I feel like they don't want to answer you. Okay, and like I said, this is not for everyone, but this is for some of you. And then for others, I feel like this person is not giving you a commitment. They're, they're not being serious. It's like they want to come. I feel like somebody comes over or they contact you when they want to have sex. And then it's like afterwards, you don't hear from this person. Or you may not hear from them for like a week or two or something like that. And I feel like it bothers you, but you're trying to hang in there because you're not quite sure what their intentions are. You're not quite sure if things are going to change. Um, I feel like you also know that there's someone else in the picture that they're dealing with because the way this energy is coming out, there has to be someone else or either this person just doesn't want to settle down. They want to keep their options open. They want to date other people. For some of you, I feel like that's the case. But for others, I feel like there's someone else involved where they can't commit to you and they can't um, have anything serious right now because there's someone else in the picture. So it's like, you know what I'm also picking up on, Virgos? Like you want this person to spend the night with you and they can't because they have to go home. So they may try to see you certain times of the day, but they can't never see you at night 
or if they do it's like it's not late at night all right let's jump into your reading here but, um because we do have devious ways so i feel like this person is being manipulative you want more from the situation they're not giving you more you're frustrated and you're trying to figure out whether you're going to leave or stay in this connection and i feel like every time you do that you try to back away from the situation but then they come forward and they start showing you more attention. And so when you come back in and you start showing them more attention, they back off. So I feel like it's just a game of manipulation and devious ways with this person. All right, so let's see. Let's see what the universe has to say about this. I'm picking up the energy where it's like... Um, you're definitely going to have to make a decision whether you're going to keep this person around because you feel like their behavior is not going to change and you're not comfortable and you keep trying to talk to them about it but i feel like this person is very elusive or they keep avoiding you so it's like whatever it is they don't want to talk about it because they know that you are, um you require answers like you want to know spirit what messages do you have for virgos what messages do you have for virgos All right, so we have the Six of Wands. So someone is very egotistical. Um, could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Dio, Sagittarius. I don't know, though. The Six of Wands is all about victory. So for some of you, you could get a victory in this situation. You have the King of Swords. And you have the Moon. So we have Pisces energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so with the moon, the six of wands, and the king of swords, this person is so detached from time to time. I feel like they keep a lot of secrets. They keep a lot of things hidden with this moon card. Um, and with the king of swords, this is someone who can be very cold, very aloof. It's like one minute you're good and then the next minute you don't know where you stand with this person for some of you i'm picking up that energy and it's like they won't they get you know what i'm also picking up on virgos this person gets an attitude sometime when you ask them questions and they try to project things on you they may try to make it seem like you're starting drama or you know you're picking a fight with them when you're really just asking like where do we stand what are we doing you know, what do we have here? Are we in a um, relationship or not? And I feel like because this person doesn't want to answer you, it's like they try to make it seem like you're the problem. I feel like this person runs away a lot, whoever this is that you're dealing with, Virgos. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgos? Somebody is so stubborn here. Is this you, Virgo? Okay. Ten of Cups. Yeah, see, somebody wants the Ten of Cups. I don't know if it's you or your person with this Ten of Cups here. Um, but what I am picking up on, there's a lot of love. So this person does care for you. It's just that they can't give you what you want. They can't give you this commitment. But they want to be with you. Oh, my God. Like, 12 cards just fell out of my hand. All right. So what messages? This, yeah. Seven of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So this person is trying to figure out how to give you what you want. Or they're trying to figure out how to calm you down because you're up in arms, because you keep wanting to know where you stand. And then we have the Queen of Wands. So see, this person knows that you're not going to sit still. They know that you're not going to wait on them. They know you have other options. The Queen of Wands, the Fire Sign, Aries, Zero, Sagittarius, or you're bodying that energy. Well, you're very ambitious, you're very goal-oriented, you have a lot going for you, you're very pretty, you dress nice, you smell nice. This person knows, like, listen, once he or she hit the streets, they don't have no problem getting nobody. So I got to make up my mind what I want to do here. So I feel like your person is thinking, okay? They're trying to see what is it that they can do because I feel like for some of you, they can't give you this commitment because it would mean that they have to move out of a house with someone or they could be living yeah they could be like living with their baby mom or their baby father and they it means that they have to move we have the three of pentacles so they're trying to figure out how they can come together and compromise and work with you for some of you it's another earth sign virgo taurus or capricorn 
Yeah, this person don't want to let you go, Virgo. It's like they're they're trying to see how they can compromise, but I feel like you're not having it because you're like, no, I've been compromising long enough. I, I want a commitment. Yeah, look at that. Oh my God, these cards are just flipping out. So we have the Two of Cups. We have the Star and we have Judgment. So I feel like this person is going to be making a decision about you, okay? With the Star card here, they may see you as a star or you could be dealing with an Aquarius or they hold you in high regard. And with this Two of Cups, there's a lot of love between you and this person, but they have a situation that it's like they see it as almost impossible to get out of right now. This person could be married or they could just have a long-term commitment with someone else where there's children involved and they're feeling like, you know what, I can't just, you know, up and walk away from this, even though they want to, because this is how they see the, this is how they see the situation with you. They're going to make a decision though with the judgment card. And with the star card, because you have two major arcanas and the two of cups. So there's a lot of love here. A lot of love. They want to be with you. Um, and they're going to try to figure something out. Spirit, what messages do you have for third girls? Yeah, three of wands. And you're waiting. Either you're waiting or your person's waiting. If this is not you feeling this way, Virgo, then this could be your person if they're cross-watching. But somebody's waiting for something to change. But you're not going to... Um, I feel like if this is you, you're not going to continue to wait. And they know it. They're aware of it. But with that two of cups, I feel like this person does love you. Like, they have a lot of love for you. It's like they want to offer you this cup. They want you to offer them your cup but it's like you're ready for something more you're ready to take something to a um higher level of commitment it's like you're tired of just this person coming over to visit you and not being able to spend the night or go out with you or take you places because you feel like you're hiding something i mean they feel like they have to hide something so we have the two of pentacles the six of swords and we have the three of cups so this person does want to come into union with you, but they're trying to figure out how to do it. Because see, we have the two of pentacles here. So they're up in their head about something. They're thinking, you know what? I feel like this person, Virgo, they're constantly in their head thinking about if they walk away from a situation, what will it be like with you? Because I feel like the situation that your person is in, they're not happy. So it's like whatever they're dealing with with this other person this other person definitely isn't you they feel like they get along with you better um they feel like you guys have more in common you make them happy and like when they go home to this other person i feel like they're just like sad or they they're in this two of pentacles energy of you know like you see there's a storm brewing in the back it's like they're trying to figure out like you know how to deal with something or i feel like also when they're home with this person it's like they're not getting a lot of attention or they're not getting a lot of love and affection and that may be something that you give them that's what i'm seeing here and so that really makes them want to come towards you even more because it's like when they're home with this other person they're not happy. It's like they're just, it's just a place where they live, where they lay their head. Maybe the children are there and that's why they stay, but it's not much happiness there. I feel like this person thinks about you a lot when they're home. Spare, what messages do you have for Virgos? What messages do you have for Virgos? All right, so we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So, the, yeah, something is not stable. It's not a stable situation where this person is. Or maybe you're feeling this way because we have the King of Pentacles. So that is um, Earth energy. And we have the Hangman. So with the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Hangman, I feel like this person, they lack stability. You know what I'm also picking up on? This is not everybody's situation, Virgos, right? But I feel like for some of you, you're dealing with someone who's in the King of Pentacles energy in reverse because they don't have enough money to move out right now. So it's like they're trying to get their finances together because the hangman is here. So some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, but if not, with this King of Pentacles in the reverse, they're stuck. And the reason why they're stuck is because of their finances, 
okay? Because I feel like if their finances were were better, um, if they had more money or if they were more solid and stable, they would walk away from this person because they're not happy at all. But this person may have to save money. Maybe they're thinking about um, getting another job or doing something to increase their money here. And I feel like this person is not telling you this. Somebody doesn't have the money to move out. It's like they want to, yeah, because we have the hermit here. So you could be dealing with another Virgo or maybe this is them thinking about you all the time. Page of Wands. Yeah, this person wants to, I feel like this person want to talk to you about it, but they can't. Six of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the King of Pentacles in reverse, and the Hermit. Some of you are dealing with someone who their money is like not right. Okay? And this is why they're breadcrumbing you with the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Wands is here. So some of you could be dealing with a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. If not, right? With these four cards, somebody's money is real low like they don't have a lot of money they lack financial stability and it's like they want to talk to you about it because this person keeps going into hermit mode it's like they keep withdrawing and you're not understanding why and you're like okay so why if you don't it's like you know they're not happy they tell you they're not happy and you're like okay so then move out then and it's like they can't but they won't tell you that it's because they don't have enough money to stand on their own yeah but with the page of wands here, I feel like there is a conversation that is coming between you and this person. It's like they may talk to you about something because I feel like they think that you are slipping away from them. Maybe you're not talking to this person like you used to. Maybe you're not texting them or calling them. Or maybe your behavior is changing towards them and they're noticing it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgos? Okay, something fell on the floor. Give me one minute. Oops, sorry about that. I kicked the camera. All right. So we have the four of pentacles and we have the empress. So yeah, this person looks at you as the empress. And look, I'm telling you, they're hanging on to their money so tight. They're either hanging on to you and their money tight or they're just hanging on to their money tight. Okay, with the four of pentacles here. But they see you sitting pretty. They see you, you might have your own house, your own car, you have a good job, you dress nice, you keep yourself looking good, and you're looking at them like, okay, well, you know, if you're not happy in this situation that you're in, I'm just waiting on you. And it's like, they won't tell you that they're in this fourth pentacles energy where they don't have the luxury of spending a lot of money because they don't make a lot of money so whatever they do have may go into the household where they stay and i feel like that's another reason why they're not happy because they're paying bills or either they're in a situation where they feel obligated it's like they don't feel good about it but i feel like they won't tell you and they look at your situation and they feel some type of way because if they're seeing you as the empress they know that you can get anybody you want and for some of you, you may be dealing with someone who has someone pregnant as well with this Empress card here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgos? And they may not be telling you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgos? Yeah, somebody is kind of, okay. They got a, it's a conversation that's coming about stability or th them being with you. Because this person is afraid to lose you. You and this person could have had an argument about something here. And now they're knowing that they have to come towards you and talk to you about this. We have the devil, Capricorn energy. We have the page of pentacles. We also have the eight of wands and the three of swords. All right, I'm seeing, damn, am I seeing three different stories here? Okay, so for some of you, I'm seeing that there was an argument. You found out about this person in a third party situation they're still stuck or bonded to someone else. And I feel like you didn't know this and you found out about it. And you thought you and the person was going to have something stable and solid with the page of pentacles. And then for others, I feel like this person is dealing with a Capricorn. They could be dealing with a Capricorn. They're not happy in this situation. They feel stuck to something very toxic. And I feel like this person is going to talk to you about it because they feel like they have to come 
with the truth when it comes to this situation or they stand a chance of losing you. So it's like they're going to finally let you know how they feel. For some of you, this person lives at a distance with this eight of wands. Okay, they um, it's like the only way you communicate them, communicate with them is online or FaceTime or something like that. But um, and then for others, I feel like this person is coming towards you. They're going to offer you something more, but it's not going to be a commitment because they can't. They can't give you that because they're that means they would have to leave the situation that they're in. Because the page of pentacles is here. So I feel like they're going to try to give you just enough to keep you around until they figure it out. I don't feel like they're doing it on purpose, though. I just feel like they're afraid to lose you. Because we have the three of swords here. So they know that you found out about something. For those of you who did find out about something with the three of swords, that was a third party situation here. It's very heartbreaking and it's sad and painful. And I feel like you're not talking to this person, but they're going to reach out to you. Because they still feel a closeness and a bond towards you. They still feel like you guys are connected. For some of you, it's definitely a Capricorn here that you're dealing with. But this person is going to come in and they're going to hold a conversation with you about all of this. And it's like they're hoping that you don't move on and be with someone else. Some of you are not speaking to this person, but they're going to definitely come in and talk to you. And Spirit, what messages do you have for her though? We have the nine of wands. Yeah, because you don't trust them. So you're very guarded towards this person and they know it. Could be a um, fire sign, Aries Leo, Sagittarius for some of you. Okay, so we have the lover. So yeah, this person knows there's a decision that they need to make. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. Okay, and if you're dealing with the Gemini, this person's going to come in and have a conversation with you about where you guys stand because they know if they don't that you're going to walk away or you're going to start dealing with someone else it's like you're not going to take them serious anymore because i feel like whatever happened here was the last straw with that three of swords and then the nine of wands yep the ace of pentacles so this person is going to definitely try to um come in and start like something new with you with the ace of pentacles yeah because they feel like they're going to have a missed opportunity. So if you're wondering if someone is going to call you, they are. If you're wondering if you're going to get communication from this person, you will. Okay. They're going to come in. They're going to try to have something new. They're going to try to start on like um with this Ace of Pentacles. This is longevity. This is something that you can depend on. Something stable. So it's like they're going to offer you something, but the reason it's like they're offering this to you because they don't want to lose you. Okay. With the lovers here, it's like, they know they have to make a decision. Some of you, this could be your twin flame soulmate. They know they have to make a decision about this connection or they stand a chance of losing you with this four of cups. Because there's a third party situation here. You know about it. And I feel like you were offering this person your cup continuously and they were passing it up or they weren't showing you enough effort or energy. And then you pulled back. Some of you pulled back from the situation and they're noticing it. They're feeling it. They don't like the behavior. It's making them nervous. They feel like they've lost you or that you're talking to someone else, especially for those of you who pulled back from a person and you like stop talking to them. Just say if you were talking to them on a regular basis and they noticed that you had some sort of, um, okay, how can I say this? You had a regimen, right? Where you would call this person like every day or twice a day or whatever. You would text them, you know, anything. You stopped doing that. So you're no longer communicating with them. So now it's like they don't know your patterns. They don't know what's going on. It's like they're wondering, but they don't want to ask because they know they don't have a leg to stand on. Because it's like, how are you going to ask someone? What are they doing? What do they have going on? But they're wanting you to commit and you're not committing. So I feel like this person sort of gets mad when you go places or when you don't um, call them or text them like you used to. And they're afraid that you have someone else. So I see communication coming in. Um, within the next couple of days for some of you definitely because this person is nervous they're nervous that um, they're losing you and that you may be moving on to someone else for a girl and like i said if this is not you feeling this way this could be your partner feeling this way if they're cross-watching 
okay so those are the messages that i have for your love and relationship reading i just want to say thank you for coming to my channel also i want to tell you guys to be careful of all the scammers out there okay because they are creating these fake pages with these fake um email address now i only have one email okay my email address is bev taylor 522 at gmail so if anyone contacts you with anything other than that don't give them your money because what happens is you know they'll set up a, a, an account on whatsapp or something and they'll tell you to pay them through that which i don't have whatsapp either but they'll tell you to pay them through that and then they'll get your money and they'll delete their account so you have no way of getting your money back okay you can't really trace it so be careful with that um also you can follow me on facebook twitter or instagram at my cards never lie to row i'm also on tiktok at the empress 522 and i will see you guys next time bye